Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg. In this video, we're going to walk through iOS 4.2 for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Safari has gained a feature in the search box. When you enter a word in the search box, you have the option to search your default engine or to search text on this page. In this case, we're searching Apple on Mac Rumors, and we can see we have 24 matches. In order to see all of them, just click Next and you'll see each one highlighted. With the introduction of AirPrint, Safari has had one minor change, and that's the change from the plus sign to an action sign. And under action, you can now see the option to print. The YouTube app has finally been updated for the like and dislike rating system instead of the five-star system, which the iPhone and iPad have been using up until iOS 4.2. When viewing the ratings of a video, instead of stars, you now see a percentage. Text messaging has also gained a FaceTime button. So if you want to place a FaceTime call to somebody who has sent you a message, it's now much easier. Now I've created a fake contact to demonstrate the next feature, which is customized text tones. In this case, we can now assign a text tone to this contact. And Apple has also provided a list of new text tones. So let's go ahead and listen. A new feature under Sound Settings now allows the user to customize and lock in the volumes of messages and alerts. Using this feature prevents the phone's external volume control from affecting the volume of alerts, therefore avoiding those missed calls and tones uh, when you turn down your iPod. In another very minor update, Apple has replaced the Voice Memo app with a new icon. Otherwise, the app is unchanged. AirPrint has also been added to iOS 4.2, but unfortunately it only works with a certain line of HP uh, printers. So at this time it's pretty limited and I can't demonstrate it fully here. But under the Photo Gallery app, you now have the option to select your photos and send them directly to the printer. In order to make use of AirPlay, the first thing we'll need to do is update the Apple TV too. So go to your Apple TV, go to Settings, and under General, select Update Software. This will automatically search out the latest software update and install iOS 4.2.1. Update the software, let it run and restart, and go back to the Apple TV and make sure AirPlay is on. To control AirPlay, Apple has added a second widget panel which you can access by double tapping the home key and swiping twice to the right. Here you can see the volume slider and the AirPlay icon which can only appear if the Apple TV is detected on your home network. With this, you can select whether audio or video is playing back on your iPhone or Apple TV. The AirPlay icon now appears in the iPod app. So if you're playing a song, in this case we're playing Coldplay, and we hit play, we now have the option to send this to the Apple TV. And so now I have control of the volume, and the audio is now appearing through the Apple TV on my home theater. And of course I can scrub it, and it does take some time to catch up over Wi-Fi. You can also again control it through the widget.
on the Apple TV, you do get a little indicator which tells you what music is playing through the AirPlay app. Of course, AirPlay also now works with video, so here let's test out the YouTube app. In the YouTube app, you also see the AirPlay icon, and here we are playing back one of my videos on the iPhone 4. Now if we choose AirPlay and send it to the Apple TV, we can go over to my home theater and see the video. In this case, the iPhone now becomes a remote control. You can also control playback using the Apple remote or your universal remote. The Find My iPhone app is now free with iOS 4.2 on the iPhone 4, iPod Touch, 4G, and iPad. I've already done a demo on this, so I'm going to link that in the description below. So take a look at that. But just to show you quickly, you can send a message to, the, uh, to one of the devices. In this case, I'm sending it to an iPad. You can also remotely lock it, so it requires a passcode in order to use it. You also have the option to remotely wipe it to remove any sensitive data you don't want thieves to have. And of course you can also use GPS to locate the device on a map. Once again guys, this is Detroit Borg with a walkthrough of iOS 4.2 for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Thanks for watching.